Hey there, I'm Robbie. In this movie, I want to show you just how easy it is to import a Final Cut Pro project into Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, I'm starting out this movie inside of Final Cut Pro, and I've put together a pretty simple sequence. And that's actually a really big point. We found that this process of handing off a project from Final Cut Pro to Premiere Pro generally works best at the beginning or initial stages of an edit. And the reason that is, is because as you go further along in the editorial process and add things like effects and transitions and other things of that nature, not all of those items are actually translated to an Adobe Premiere Pro project accurately. So we found that it's best to hand off a project from Final Cut Pro to Premiere Pro in the beginning or initial stages of an edit. Before I actually export this project for Premiere Pro, what I want to do is actually come up here to my Final Cut Pro browser. Before you export, it's important to know that what you have selected in your browser is what will be exported to Premiere Pro. If you want everything to go to Premiere Pro, simply don't select anything. But if you want individual items such as different sequences to export, select those items individually, and your selected items will be exported, and then you can use them inside of Premiere Pro. But in this project, I want the entire thing to go, so I'm just going to leave everything unselected here in my browser. Then what I'm going to do inside of Final Cut Pro here is come up to the file menu and then down to export and then choose XML. The XML language is how Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro can communicate. So let me go ahead and select XML. Here in the export XML dialog, you can see right here that my source is set to one bin. That's this clips bin right here, which has 16 clips inside of it and one sequence, the sequence right here. In the format menu here, I can choose a different flavor of XML. The one I'm going to choose is this one right here, XML Interchange Format version 5. This is the latest and greatest version of Apple's implementation of XML for Final Cut Pro. And it's the one that you want to select when handing off a Final Cut Pro project to Premiere Pro. This option right here for include master clips outside of selection is grayed out, so I don't need to worry about it. And then right here, I can simply save the project when I export. So I'll leave that selected. So let me just go ahead and click OK here. Just note that the default name of the XML file that you're going to export is going to default to the same name as your Final Cut Pro project. So I'm just going to select my desktop here and then click Save. OK, and really quickly, the XML file exports. Let's switch back over to Premiere Pro. Here in Premiere Pro, I have a project that I've created, but I actually don't have any sequences in it yet. And what I'm going to do inside of Premiere Pro is go up to the File menu and then down to Import. Let me navigate back out to my desktop here, and let me select that XML file that we just exported from Final Cut Pro, and I'll click Import. And in just a second, the file is going to import, but I will get this dialog box right here that says Translation Report, and this is kind of important. It says, please check the FCP Translation Results Report, added into the main bin, for possible issues encountered during the translation. Remember how I was telling you that this handoff from Final Cut Pro to Premiere Pro generally works best at the beginning or initial stages of an edit when you have simple sequences that are mainly just cuts? Well, if you add unsupported things like an effect or a transition or something of that nature in Final Cut Pro, this translation report will tell you how it dealt with that particular item. So let me go ahead and click OK. Then over here in my project panel, notice that I have a new bin called Importing a Final Cut Pro Project. And that's because that was the name of the project or the XML file that I exported from Final Cut Pro. Let me go ahead and open that up. And inside of this, you'll notice a couple items. Here's the clips bin, and this is the same clips bin that I had in my Final Cut Pro project. Here's the sequence that we had inside of my Final Cut Pro project. Then here's that translation results file. Let me just double click on that to open it up. And here you can see that there actually was a problem translating the Final Cut Pro project to the Premiere Pro project. And in this case, it actually says the video end of track one, the end of the clip extended to include entire transition element change to end at cut. Now, what you really need to do is actually go back, let's close this, and open up the sequence. And after you've sent a project from Final Cut Pro to Premiere Pro, it's generally a good idea to go through and scrub through the sequence and make sure that things translated and came over like they should. And in this case, the translation actually seemed to work okay. I can go back and double check that issue here at the end of the sequence, but on first blush, everything seems to have translated just fine from Final Cut Pro to Premiere Pro. 
We think it's a big plus for Adobe Premiere Pro that it actually allows us to import Final Cut Pro XML files, essentially moving a project from Final Cut Pro to Premiere Pro. In the real world, you'll often have to interface with people using Final Cut Pro, even if Premiere Pro is your tool of choice. And you can see, just by the few simple steps that I did in this movie, it's relatively simple to get a project from Final Cut Pro into Premiere Pro, where you can continue to edit and finish your project.